Today we're going to go on a field trip to my local fish store, the Corner Reef. We're going to do an impromptu tour and also see if there's anything that I can pick up. What's up coral people? If you're new here, my name is Remy and this is the Bahama Llama Coral YouTube channel. If you would like to support the channel, there's actually a couple ways to do that now. And OMG, we are so close to 5,000 subscribers on the channel. I cannot wait. I think it's going to happen this next week. I'm very excited for this. If you want to help me on the road to 5K, go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. And before we get into it, the other way you can support the channel is by picking up one of these guys. I had a lot of questions about the shirt that I was wearing in the last video. This was one of the prototypes. So the one that you get, this is gonna be a little bit larger and this is gonna be a little bit more saturated in color, which is a good thing. If you wanna purchase one of the shirts and help support the channel, go ahead and click the link in the description below and make sure to use that promo code so you can get 15% off. Okay, now it's time to go to the Corner Reef. Today, like I said, a little bit different video. We're gonna to go to my local fish store uh, or the one that I frequent the most, the Corner Reef, which is in South County. Steve is the owner. He's been running out of this location for a couple years. They buy so many tank breakdowns, so they're always getting new stuff in. So it's always nice to just go in there. You know, on the weekly, if I need some stuff, I know I need some reagents today, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some Hannah Checker reagents, but uh, also just see what maybe we can find and maybe we'll find a new coral or fish to bring home to the system. So for me, it is a Friday. I'm leaving my place of work for the day and about ready to start a weekend and no better way to do that than to go to the local fish store. So let's go to the Corner Reef. I don't know about your local fish stores, but this one has been thriving through the pandemic. As an essential business, pet stores around the country were deemed essential so that you could still get your supplies, your pet foods, things like that. They limited the amount of people that were allowed in the store at any given moment, but still offered curbside pickup and even delivery to some locations. I would say the overall theme of this store is organized chaos. And it's a compliment, I promise. If you've got OCD though, I apologize, this might not be the shop for you. If you love doing some hunting, however, you can really find some unique pieces in here. Have you ever been antiquing? I highly suggest it if you haven't. There's some great finds out there. The corner reef is kind of like that, but with coral. Does this piece look familiar to you at all? I brought this in on a trade. This is the Weeping Willow Leather Coral or I guess technically it's not the true weeping willow, but it's pretty close. Don't get me wrong, I think there's a time and place for both the super organized places like your worldwide corals and your OSAs. Bottom line, there are corals aplenty and that's what makes me happy. Steve, the owner, always has a wide variety of your bread and butter corals, larger colonies, and some high-end pieces as well. Most of it is kept in these coral tables here in the middle of the store and they're divided up by price and size. Most of the corals in the flats consist of LPS and softies. And when he gets a tank breakdown or some trade-in SPS, you might find some gems in here as well. And who doesn't love a good $10 section at the coral shop? He's got sections from $10 all the way up to 100 plus. I also like to check out these little invert tanks for little hidden treasures. There's so many different species in one tiny little tank. This is a perfect example right here. This is a pom-pom crab. Pom-pom crabs get their nickname from the fact that they carry two live sea anemones on each claw. It's one of those really cool symbiotic relationships. In this case, the crab is protected from predators by waving the anemones. Like I said, sometimes there is some fire corals here at Corner Reef. Might be totally unaffordable, but it's pretty to look at. And you know, if you think about it, you can maybe bring in some trades that would bring the price down a bit, but I really like those. Now we just got a fish shipment in the night before and apparently got a ton of copper bands in. Uh, surprisingly enough, they all looked pretty good. Mind you, it was the day after. And the store also has no shortage of clownfish, that's for sure. I saw at least 10 different variations while I was there. 
They carry most of the Red Sea line here. St. Louis loves their Red Sea supplements and test kits. That's for sure. He sells a lot of these. Dry goods are pretty well covered here. I mean, look, here's a bunch of Ceche products. Hashtag Team Ceche, am I right? Another thing I love about Corner Reef is that they don't shy away from the higher end fish either. They had four or five blue spotted jawfish in stock. I love the personality of these guys. I think it's the neck swivel that does it for me. Shout out to Inappropriate Reaper. They also had a nice frogfish and I instantly thought of Moki. He had a frogfish for a couple of years named Mochi. Love that guy, Rip Mochi. Remember that whole antique store reference? Well, these tanks are my favorite for that reason. It could be a coral you've never seen before. It could be a fish you never noticed before. And while I'm walking through the store, I do see one little piece that I like a lot, and we'll come back to that in a second, but I just noticed a new tank that had caught my eye, a new flower nem tank. I think one or two of these guys would be fun for the Pico tank. And the fish tanks continue on this side of the store as well. Here's another wall of fish available for purchase. Most everything you see in the store is available for purchase. He's got several display tanks set up around the store and they have a smattering of corals in them, whether that be Zoa Heavy or Scolies or Mushrooms. It gives the customer some inspiration for what a tank might look like in their house and what corals would be appropriate to stock that tank with. Now they just installed this brand new Planet Aquarium display tank. It is 310 gallons and beautiful. Hey Planet, you know one of those would look really nice in the llama's lair. While I was in there, uh, a gentleman was talking about installing one of these in his house and it really got me thinking about a huge tank in the llama's lair. Okay, so going back to that thing that caught my eye, no, it wasn't this neon green cabbage coral, although it is pretty bright. It was this rock of mushrooms right here next to it. I see some purples, I see some yellows in these shrooms, so I asked about it. I didn't want to buy the whole rock, so he cut me off a shroom for 20 bucks. Have to see what this looks like once it settles into the llama's lagoon. I figured for 20 bucks, hey, I'll take a chance. All right, so I hope you enjoyed going on the trip with me to the local fish store, the Corner Reef, which is where I usually go and uh, get all my supplies and stuff like that. So we're gonna get the coral back in the tank. I got one mushroom for 20 bucks and who knows, it's kind of like a purplish with a yellow center. I don't know, it looked kind of cool. He had it under a lot of white light. So maybe once we put it under the blue light, we'll be able to cook it up and see what it looks like uh, in a little bit. But I got my reagents and we're all good to go. Before the end of the video, I'll show you what the mushroom looks like after it's been in my system for a little bit. I wanna thank Steve, the owner, for letting me come through with my camera. I got there right when they opened, and then by the time that I left, about an hour later, the place was slammed, and I'm sure he didn't want me walking around with a camera the entire time. So here's the new mushroom that I got. This is it in the tank right now, and I think it has a lot of potential. I can't wait to see what happens over the next couple weeks. But for 20 bucks, I think it was a steal. It's funny how the ride over to my local fish store, I was listening to the Reef News Network podcast, which I normally do every Thursday. They release a new episode. This is definitely a plug for them because it's an awesome podcast. They were talking all about local fish stores and they talk about shops like the Corner Reef, those mom and pop shops. And they also talk about going to a local fish store, which is weird to say, like a Worldwide Corals or an Ocean State Aquatics, these big giant stores. Also have some fun stuff in the works with the Reef News Network, guys. Really excited for that. And we'll obviously keep you posted as we progress. And it's kind of weird to think, because I talk about them all the time. They're a great partner of the channel, Ocean State Aquatics, being a local fish store. I look up to them as like, a mega store, a super store, a place where you can get not only salt water, but fresh water and all of the stuff that you need. And on top of that, they also have a coral farm. As massive as it is, it's still a local fish store. When you get a chance, check out the new store and everything they've got going on at osachoice.com. Of course, follow OSA on all the social medias. Those are all linked below. So close to 5,000, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. As always, thank you so much for being here. I'm going to do a two to three part series. I haven't decided how long it's going to be overhauling the frag tank. One of my goals this year was to overhaul the frag tank and clean up the cords and uh, get some new pumps and 
just reorganize the whole thing. And I know that that's not going to be in one video. So I'll probably have to bust that up into two or three videos. Look forward to that. You know the drill. If you want to binge some videos, YouTube provides me the last 20 seconds of every video with the opportunity to grace you with new binge worthy videos. So uh, one of these two, or you can hit the subscribe button. It's really easy. Click on these videos if you want to maybe hang out a little longer.